Hi, Jemima. Hello, Trini. It's an eclectic mix day. Guess what we're doing? Gosh, well, it's very glamorous. What are we doing? Outfits for weddings and races and smart occasions where you think, what am I going to wear? I'm in that interim period. I was invited to so many weddings and now all my friends are married or getting divorced and their children aren't old enough to have their own weddings. So I've got a hiatus. And then soon all those weddings will come tumbling in of my friend's children and then I'll be the kind of friend of the parents, which is like not the way to have a wedding, but it can be really good fun. There's different occasions for weddings, Jemima. We can go to a beach, we can be in town. It can be a daytime affair with a lunch or it can be a sort of five o'clock service and then a big party in the evening. This is a dress I got from Zara, I think it was two years ago. And I wear it in the office with trainers and a denim jacket, but I could wear it to a wedding. And it's all a question of how I accessorize it. Yes, yeah, please show yeah, us. So, show us so this is why I collect Zara belts. All right? <laughs> and depending on how I wanted to style this up, I could either decide that I'm going to be a very bejeweled pearl moment and all my accessories are going to follow suit like that there, which is kind of fabulous. Um, but I might, on my head, do a hat, or I might do some flowers, or I might do a headband. I'm going to do a more tuning in belt that will bring in the waist of this slightly up and down dress, but not fight with any jewellery I might want to wear on the top half. Okay, so how do you know that belt works for you? If I was wearing a plain dress, I'd want a thick belt. But one thing interesting is pattern changes people's shapes and lengths and heights and everything. So this is the one occasion where I will feel comfortable in a thinner belt. Voila. So the purpose is it takes in the waist and it gives a little bit of extra glamour. Yeah, it yeah, does. Like that. Okay. Okay, next up, I'm gonna do shoes. Now, for this occasion, I'm visioning in my mind the kind of wedding it is, and it's a wedding in the countryside. It's sort of during the day. In England, the weather could be raining the day before, and then the stiletto is your enemy. So I go for a wedge nearly every single time that I go to a wedding. But this is a 18 year old Christian Levitor I'm just about to put on. It was probably his third season. You can see there is no red left. Oh wow, yeah. And Christian not. made the shoes for my wedding and he took them from my wedding dress. So then jewelry, I could do a sort of headband moment and then kind of have my hair up, you know, do something like that. Yeah. Do you like that? I do like that. Okay, I mean, would you mind me? You would love that, all right? But yes, I don't I do. know if I'm ahead by a moment. I probably would actually want something much bigger. But you could have a little fascinator. But if I were <laughs> to put my hair up and have it sort of in something like that, I'd then probably just do one fabulous earring. I could go that big. What do we think? Yeah. Do we like that? I love that. And then a simple bag. I occasionally would love to bag over your shoulder because you're kind of holding a drink and holding whatever else you might be holding and a plate of food. But so therefore for me, a clutch, nothing with handles means that I can be like that. Clever. And I can have both my hands free, but I've got enough in here to fit the stack and things like that. Okay. I think that's about it. Apart from what makeup I'd wear. If you're doing a daytime wedding, you're going to some stage be in full light. Now you might sort of do your makeup in your room um, in electric light and then you might get outside and it might be that the makeup is just a bit too strong So when I'm going to a daytime wedding, I don't turn on any Electric light probably for me. It's more about blusher than bronzer. We can have a tendency at a wedding Let's shove on lots of bronzer lots of fake tan and it would get us through the evening But I think it can just be quite flat on the skin So I love to just blush up so I'm going to use wigs flush blush and as this is a soft golden look I'm going to sort of honor the golden look and I'm going to do a little bit of hope on my eye there just to have that goldenness and then I'm going to do a little bit of fortune just in the inner corner like that. It might be that simple. And then for my lip, I might literally just have a little bit of Bella. I've got quite a lot of accessorization on. And I think if I have a ton of heavy makeup on my face plus accessories, is it too much? You know me, sometimes nothing is too much. But then I'm going to get to later in the wedding and the electric light's gonna come on. I've just put on a little bit of smokiness like that. I'm using a little bit of faith. You just gotta have faith. And then I'm gonna add on a little bit of Katinka because it's such a fabulous bronzy colour and I think I want that bronze look amped up and then a little bit more on my cheeks like that. Hair is not perfect but it gives you the idea and now I feel I go from daylight and then I go inside and I put a little bit tiny more on and when you've got a stack you can just fit so much in and I become a sort of nighttime makeup. Now I feel glamorous, comfortable, floaty, feminine, a little bit sexy because there's a sheerness to it and makeup's gonna last me all day. There are times when you go to a wedding and you want to feel kind of cool, 
but glam. So I'm gonna start with this. I've got a Zara t-shirt on and I could do necklaces there, all right, just yeah. to kind of add a bit of glam like that. But I need a jacket with this because I, I felt that I was feeling the moment with a jacket. So I'm gonna to go to my really old Isabel Morant because I think the colors might be pinks that might go together. What do we think? Yeah, love Do that. we like it with it? Yeah. Um, and then if you really want to be hippy dippy over the top, uh, I mean, there is a part of me that's saying, the necklace is so far away from my ears, so shall I just put some glamour on the top because there's be a moment where I'll be having dinner and there isn't any glamour around my face, so there. Is that too much? No. I'm not the wrong don't. audience, it's never too much with you girls. But I would actually, on this instance, totally agree with you because I think this is rock and roll, my hair is messy and sexy and down. I'm not going to wear any kind of thing on my head, but I'm just sort of like, hi. Mm. Do you think this is a good option for women who like to cover their arms at weddings? I think it's about getting the right jackets. So okay. Jackets can look officey, and mm. it's how do you get a jacket that doesn't look officey? I like that. I feel that if I was going to a friend of mine's daughter's wedding, and I, you know, it was a kind of casual wedding, that I didn't want to be, you know, in a sort of dress mother of bride hat with a high mm. heel, this would be a way that I'd just walk around loving. Who should I chat to? Hi, what are you doing? Oh, you're a handsome young boy. Let's have a little yeah. chat. You know, all the kind of things you might yeah. do at a wedding. Um, and what's yeah. on your lips? On my lip, I've actually put some Pia with some uh, Mia. Pia and Ooh. Mia, and they make this colour pink. It's lovely. If the evening gets all hot and steamy, and I want to take that off, I'm not just wearing a white t-shirt at a wedding. There's sort of so much glam going on mm. and the shapes are good. And then if I want to dance, these are, you know, it's, this is a great skirt to dance in. Great for twirling. It's a twirling skirt. So for this next look, because I'm wearing orange, I'm definitely pay taking off the pink. But what I am actually going to do is take, first of all, my favorite. You could nearly guess what I'm going to do first. I'm going to do some shusha, but on my cheeks to bring in that orange. Like that. And I might do a little bit on my lip to give a homage to the colour. There. I'm actually going to put it over the top. Wheezy, which is one of our latest sheer shimmers, because it brings out the blueness of the eyes. Let's now do accessorisation. Trini, who is this outfit for? This, in my mind, is somebody who goes to a wedding and either they want to really cover their legs or they broke their ankle or their foot or their own crutches. But they want to look elegant, but they don't want to wear a dress that shows a cast. And these are really wide-legged trousers. It's a very old Zara jumpsuit, so I'm going to put on my really comfortable trainer. But I want a glamorous jacket. So I'm going to put the jacket on first because I want to show you that it has Diamante and I want to do gold. So we've got to think about that. This is also a Zara friend, but the two, to me, go together really well. So then I've got a variety of jewels here. So I could either just go for the sort of real golden approach with a bit of Diamante, because I think you can wear Diamante and gold together if something has Diamante and gold in it. So this is a mixture of necklaces. I've got here my Saint Laurent one. I've got here two vintage Chanel ones, and this one has got those lovely glass um, Diamante bits to it. I collect these over the years. I think I got this from Restoration in LA, a or Decades in LA, which wow. is a fab shop. And I quite like the fact that it goes as far as the jacket belt with maybe earrings or necklaces. What do we think? Necklaces. Thank you. Yeah. Good, you girls. I love a bag with a strap because if you want to throw confetti, oh. you know, you've got free arms and you can just do that and, you know, it's not going to fall down. So I just, I like the idea of that. And I was That's given this by a very old friend of mine, Tashi. Um, from Annie Highmark. Oh. So I kind of, I like that. If I wanted to have something that amped it up a bit, gave it a bit more colour, could do that, because I've got the white, and I could do a little Chanel clutch. Mm. What do you think? It tops and tails with the trainers a bit, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's quite nice with that, it's quite elegant. And then you sort of, the thing is also, if you wear a real bit of Chanel with a fake bit of Chanel, mm. people think the fake Chanel might be real. Yeah. Good tip. Just about to show you a new secret purchase from Vampire's Wife. And I've never, I haven't worn this concept for so long. So I'm just going to do a little bit of vision on the eyes. I want to keep this very clean and sort of ethereal. So I'm going to put some justice on actually, just on the inner corner. So it cleans up my eye there. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of ream on my lip, like that. Like I've just got naturally deeply pigmented lips. Fresh we're looking at. I got this cord from um, Vampire's Wife. Now, it's quite small, and I would say weddings and spanks can go hand in hand. On, like that. I'm feeling a lilac earring moment. I just love the fact that they echo elements of the print in the outfit. Shoes-wise, I either go totally neutral 
or I amp it up a bit. So I'm gonna first of all look at what would it look like if I do yellow, because we love yellow and lilac. What do we think? I love it. You do? Lovely. Do we think then I would have a kind of cute little bag? Do we? I think a nod to the yellow. Yeah. yeah. Do we like a cute little bag? I do, I do like that. Yeah, I, I think it's more see. elegant. I was going to do this, but I feel over the shoulder, and it's this is more about sort of, I mean, it's exactly what I said you shouldn't do, which is a little <laughs> handle. But with this outfit, suddenly I feel it's that kind of... There's a crossbody strap in there. Is there really? Yes. Wow. Oh my God, she's so good, Mark. <laughs> I want some lots of gratification. Hold on a second. <laughs> After much ado, we have a bag with a strap, so I can actually do that. Fabulous. This is when I might do flowers, because okay. I love the shoulder of this, and I feel it would be really nice if I can show off the earrings and do a shoulder. So I'll mm -hmm. show you how I do it. But when you put your hair up, always good to remember is that um, you're either a kind of top bun girl or you're a side back. So I'm a low chignon side back person, so I prefer to kind of pull my ponytail through and then make it a bit messy. Okay, I'm gonna have little bits that come through the front like that. That's looking all right. And then I get little bits and I get a curvy grip and I just sort of place them. And I've taken these lovely lilac flowers and I'll just sort of put them in to an area where I might have it. They might actually stay, these ones. It's the ones at the bottom that you always generally need a little extra help from a curvy grip. He might not want to dance unless he has a curvy grip in. They'll probably last a few hours, but it just gives you that sort of feeling of something from the front and something from the side and something from the back. And then you can have some that just perk through a little bit. Another one here. But it's also, it's about that haphazardness. You know, you're not saying I made such an outfit and I went to the florist and whatever. It's like, oh, I just plop this on at home. And then I might actually put one right in the middle of the bun. So it's this kind of, it's not just done around the bun, like that. Okay, so are we ready now to go to the wedding? Do you think we need ready. anything else? It feels feminine and pretty, and I'd wear this like for a daytime wedding, a registry office, when you just want to celebrate the day. I'm not gonna be dancing hard there goes a flower. <laughs> I didn't tuck him in, did I? I have to say there's some stats that I think the biggest place people meet their partner is online. But the second biggest place is at a wedding. Yes. <laughs> Can you wear white at a wedding? I mean, I would say that I generally never would wear a just white dress, but there's ways you can wear white if you love white and it's not quite white. Step one is have a bright red lip. So this is, I don't know when, but I just felt, could I see a moment when I wanted to wear a sort of suit? It's not white, it's oatmeal. Mm -hmm. It's got that lovely lace. There's a sort of Spanishness to it with that sharp Spanish hat and the red lip. But I think we always think a dress at a wedding and I think it's quite nice to think what's different from a dress that still feels dressy. Mm. And I've got a little belt, oh there's Zara belts there, just a thing. I don't know if I do earrings as well, no? Mm. Something like that, I think. Something like that or yeah. something different? Maybe my mother's earrings. Oh, they're so sweet. Yeah, I think it's just because you don't want, you want to cover the lobe. Yes, cover the like lobe. That. Yeah, cover the <laughs> lobe. So there, what do you think of that? Yeah, it looks lovely with the gold. I was trying to make this work and I was thinking I'll take my scarf from Venice and put it on, mm. it's really relaxed. I don't like the scarf moment, I don't think it's working. Um, and then I'm thinking, this is nice at some stage at a wedding, you know, that mm -hmm. you have this. If I was doing this, I would actually throw on necklaces or I would do bracelets, a sort of balancing out like that. Do you like that? That's uh, a bit the other edge. one, mine now just go totally over the top like that. No, that doesn't work. Do you this think the print's work. a bit strong for a wedding? Like heavy, yeah. I mean the yeah. tones are a bit heavy. Yeah, it's not working, is it? It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It shows you how we literally it. don't prep anything here. We just try it on and we put a rail together and I don't try anything on first. So what I've realised about this lovely skirt is that I got it off eBay. I thought it was fabulous. And Susanna totally changed it. And I still am not in love. So I think it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> or I can find a way to wear it in the summer with a t-shirt. This is my clever dress and I'll tell you why. This is how you're meant to wear it. But if I'm going to a wedding and I've got a church service first, this is how I wear it. I don't love a deep V in a 
place of religion. So I just think one has to honour. And also, I, I don't like a deep back too. Mm. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a really old top shop sequin. I'm going to be full on, but flat heeled, which makes full on more accessible in a way, acceptable. And I'll just wear that. I love all the colours together. I'm tempted to think, would I wear a belt over mm. it like that, you know? Or just, I could have it loose. I could do some jewellery. Mm -hmm. Why not? I've got things like this that I sort of always have to hand. I'm not sure if that's like very right floral. Colour. Okay, or we do the kind of... I like that with it. More along the lines. More along the lines. Yeah. Oh, I'm just too old to wear a hairband. No. I really am. No, 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 no. Right colours, but not... Right colours, but wrong decade. <laughs> I'm going to see the headless chicken. I wouldn't do that hat. What are you flopping out? I just don't have the hats here that I might do. Would you ever do a fascinator? Mm, no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, I'd be hat free in this instance. Hat free? Um, I'd be hat free and I might wear some earrings. Do you like those with it? They're really pretty. Yeah. I don't like my hair like this for a wedding. You know, I might have some kind of thing. I have some necklaces like this which is like something chloe gave me years ago it's a, sort of, it's a sort of snake in my hair i'm wondering if i'd sort of do something you know where i kind of do something sort of grecian-y medusa and then sort of put it in my hair could do something like that if you made that stay up that would look really cool you know yeah kind of, i mean you know we are really just showing you the concept here mm -hmm. but it's about having something that there's it's not a headband but there's just something actually i like the shapes there I wouldn't do these earrings, I'd do a smaller earring. Mm -hmm. But I just felt with this outfit, it needed something on the top. And you know they're quite dark colours. Would yeah. you wear that for a winter wedding or would you wear it in summer as well? I would wear it probably for a winter wedding. Okay. It well, would be I'd... a faux fur on top. Okay. Yeah, it would be a big faux fur coat. Whilst we're here, I'll show you what I've worn to a couple of weddings. I wore this dress, which I had made by a Susanna to my nephew's wedding and I had over it a black and white French Connection little gilet but we can show you a picture of that now and I felt so good in this dress because it was very hot but in the church in Spain you couldn't have an uncovered top so that little sort of cape that I put over it worked a treat. Come with me whilst we go mm -hmm. to the house of Spain. Actually I'm going to turn this around I'm so hot. So in here is my um is my now turning into my vampire's wife. Yeah. You are such a collector, Trini. I know, I'm such a collector, it's tragic. But I'll tell you what I wore. So this is what I wore for my nephew's wedding. And this, to me, I also wore for my stepdaughter's, well, not stepdaughter, but Charles's daughter's wedding. And I love this. I felt so good in it. And it was the wedding of Charles's daughter was in a beautiful garden in Italy. So one could be fabulous. And it was very hot. So I felt it had the glam. I wore it with flat sandals so I could dance all night. If I was getting married again, Oh my gosh. Which is, um, my newest, is that my newest vampire's wife one? <laughs> You've yes, lost yes, track. Yes, yes. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, I might. Oh, I like that. And then this, I would nearly wear that to a wedding. But that could nearly be a bride on her second wedding as well. Yeah, or you know? the second outfit of the night. Or a lot of brides change. Of night. Yes, it could be that. Um, if I was just marrying and I was marrying in a registry office I might do that <laughs> um over a dress which I got in the sale at Netta Porto for like 90% off winter <laughs> weddings I've gone to that I've worn that as a guest for a winter wedding another vampire's wife um other weddings oh here I've worn this to a evening event after a wedding Jenny Packham yeah. at the moment this I wore to a girlfriend of mine's wedding which I don't know where I got this dress from, but I loved it. Really comfortable in Sweden, very sort of relaxed on the grass kind of look. All of the dresses you wear are quite long, aren't they? They're always long. I love a long dress. I what do you think about a mini dress? Well, I think definitely on the right person, Jemima and Molly. Um, but I would not <laughs> let a mini dress go anywhere near my body ever again. Um, okay, should we do like one final look? Yes, yes. let's do it. For my final look. I'm just going to do a smoky eye and I'm taking chalice eye to eye for the blue of the dress and then a really simple makeup on the lip and cheek. 
So finally, I thought I couldn't resist to put on one of my Vampire's White dresses. This is by Louise, my assistant, who got it from eBay. Yes. And I kind of not done it headbandy. I wanted to make it even tighter, but it's her, so I don't want to squidge it. The idea is it goes round a sideways bun. Very little earring. Like if it was a really big earring, it might fight with that fascinator. So when you're doing fascinators, think about something that's just like a line of colour. And likewise. Julie, really, what's on your finger? The ring, the ring is from uh, India and it's these two peacocks, but it is the blue oh of the gosh. dress. And I just thought I couldn't resist. No, you couldn't resist. You couldn't resist, could we? <laughs> um, so bag wise, I don't know. Well, what shoes are you wearing? I'm wearing silver shoes. So, okay. I mean, this is too big for a wedding. But I just kind of, there's something utterly fabulous about it. But I just think it's too much with this and this. You see what I mean? It like mm. fights. So I wouldn't go there. So what I'll probably do, when in doubt, I go to my tiny little bag, you know, which is kind of there, but not there. Very matchy matchy. It's like the Russell and Bromley. Would you like the shoes, man, with the bag? <laughs> or the bag with the shoes? And I feel so, I'm like, I want, I'm so glad we're going out. Because <laughs> I feel so ready for it. Anyway, that is it for our little um wedding so should we just have a chat about what we're going to do next time i feel totally underdressed oh, sitting darling, next to I you i've got to say i totally agree that you're gorgeous <laughs> in the pink were you inspired by our pink i was always inspired well, you are by actually our pink. Visit, you, you are just pink 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 <laughs> make the girls wink and the boys make the boys wink isn't it all right so <laughs> we um i'm so glad we did that i hope it gave you some inspiration i think you know, buying for a wedding can be challenging, but it doesn't mean we have to get a new dress. It can be, how can we maybe take something and wear it a different way? Darling, what else we got on the... I, I was thinking, it's getting warm. Yes. For those of you in Australia, it's probably the same temperature we are right now. Yeah. Would we consider, like, white dresses? I how to wear white dresses? That. Yeah? And yeah. who's scared of wearing white dresses? So white dresses is an option. Then I have talked a lot on Instagram, Jemima, about, you know, how to kind of update our wardrobe without shopping so much and what can we do in the summer that makes us feel this feels edgier than the boring place I felt I was going to especially when you look at them all and you're like I have nothing to wear yeah even though you've got a lot yeah um but I think we could do a second occasion wear thing because I think weddings are so specific if people write down like what okay what, what kind, their of kind of occasion or what event yeah. is maybe we've got another shop up on the card shop up I think we should go to Zara Mm. Yeah, we should do that. Molly what, would love that as well. What, uh, Molly would love that too. So, so put in your thoughts of what you would like for inspiration. And in the meantime, let's show you what we dress Molly in um, for um, the uh, the event we're going to tonight. So, yes, Joanne, will you off. take over again? The remit was, all right, I said, Molly, you can wear anything from my wardrobe. And Molly, you know, I opened the door to the colourful wardrobe. Molly went, anything in black. <laughs> and here Molly is. And here Molly is, and this I love on Molly, because Molly is not me, and she's got to make it her look, but it's like my really old Philip and trousers, which are a bit too big for you, but it doesn't matter, because the dress, which is way too big for you as well, acts as this kind of layering piece from Zara, the Zara jacket, which actually fits you well. Perfectly. Yeah. And um, your own trainer. My own trainer. Oh, and wow. do you feel comfortable? I feel it? comfortable. Yeah. I feel like I could eat anything, do anything. Fantastic. And we're going somewhere where we might not know anyone there, so we have each other. That is so cute. <laughs> Have the best time. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.